hey everybody, come along and be disappointed with us. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Yesterday sucked. <laughs> I'm fishing with my good buddy, Nathan. He's in the back there, the lovely looking gentleman who's a Michigan fan. Uh, go Blue. <laughs> go Blue. <laughs> uh, we got our butts kicked yesterday. Uh, we switched spots. This is the Wisconsin opener. I should probably start with that. Uh, it was terrible yesterday. <laughs> Not a lot of fish caught across the board um for anybody that i know i mean there may have been a couple here a couple there but not good high water high water we've had high temps this spring may have pushed the fish out of here already well, we don't know we're gonna find out though and hopefully very soon with us chucking baits and doing figure eights and i can't think of anything else that rhymes with that Chuck and aids and figure. Chuck and aids and figure. I don't Chuck know. We'll, and we'll come up with something. But we'll put on a t-shirt for you maybe later on. Uh, we're going to get to fishing. Stop being silly. Well, we're going to keep being silly. But we're going to try to catch musky. All right, folks. Here it is again. You're probably getting sick of seeing it. But it is a Rusty's Custom Lures 6 sucker, 6 inch. I've caught so many fish on this, I'm going to try to catch another one. Uh, I just have supreme confidence in this lure early in the season right now. Uh, I'm throwing it on a 9 foot Surgical Strike 2020, Tranks 400, and Fins 80 pound Big Game XS. Nathan's chucking a, you can go ahead and throw it, we know what those look like. That's a Naven. He's got that on an assault stick as well. Same reel, wrong handed, but uh, fins as well so that's what we're throwing and we're gonna see if we can catch one of these northern Wisconsin muskies here big fish big fish yeah 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 right here yep Fish. Nice fish, dude. Man, he just come up and whacked it. That woke me up. <laughs> right. Well, that's three days of going through hell. To get yeah. <laughs> that's pretty neat. I'll take that. Wow. All right, let's do something with it. <laughs> All right. piece out of there. There we go. That's how you do her. All right, buddy. You go hang out since you're a spaz. Okie dokie. The old Rusty's Customs came in handy again. Should be nice fish, yeah. Take a peek at her here. Okay. <laughs> yep, I get to grace the new, the brand new bump board here. I don't think I've ever worked, I probably have, but it feels like I've never worked so hard to catch a muskie in my life. We've had two days of just miserable, not even bad conditions, but just miserable muskie fishing. Uh, and this is the first real decent one that we've actually come across, and uh, thankfully it hit and it stuck. Gave us an awesome, uh, awesome show out there, jumping around. but. We've got the brand new musky bumper wetted down here. We're going to take a peek at her real quick. All right, support her belly. That is a beautiful little fish, man. 
All right. All right, lady. Just stay calm. She is 36. 37 out of her. All right. What a beautiful fish. All right. I'm going to try to put her in over here. All right. Get yourself righted, lady. And there she goes. Didn't even have to do anything. All right. Um, Nathan and I were on the verge of leaving. And I think we might stay a little bit. Let's see if we can get another one of these. <laughs> What would you guys usually throw? Uh, he was throwing a Dusa, which I should probably throw. <gasps> oh, right below your bait, right below your bait. Just put it in, just put it in, just put it in. Oh, man, that was a big fish. He's still there, he's still there. Come on. Dude, I just looked down and I could just see the fins like Rippling in the water. That was. Really? Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh. <laughs> he just made the boil there. Oh, you gotta be kidding. He came up and did the little. Yeah. Some sort of like the, what was it, the Indian leg dead stick. You got right, there. right, yeah. Oh, that was silly. Oh, uh, that is two fish and Five yeah, Three yeah. I couldn't see him. Yeah, I he's I those fish are so dark, dude. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was like, without freaking out, I was trying to tell him. I was like, just do it really slowly, move it, because <laughs> most people go ah. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man, but let's keep doing it. <laughs> Fish. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's a big bass, dude. It's a giant largemouth. Oh jeez, look at that thing. Oh wow, on a net? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that was a freaking giant yeah, dude. I should have just boat flipped him. <laughs> that was like a four pounder, if not bigger. The ditch pickle. The old ditch pickles. Man, that was a good one. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, a little midday update for you. We caught a muskie, uh, and we've seen some, and uh, we've got weather coming in and out. Oh, Nathan just saw one. My bait was all fall the weed. There's a muskie falling in right there. How big? Oh, okay. Somebody's pulled their bait out of the water twice today. I'm not going to say who it is. It's not me, though. Uh, so yeah, we've got, we've got rain, uh, we've got good conditions for muskies to hopefully keep fighting here and uh, hopefully we can get at least one more. I don't know. A musky. <laughs> I'm out, so. There we 
Joe. Well, hey there. I was just kind of hanging out the bait at the side of the boat, and he came up and whacked it. Yeah, yeah. I got her. That's cool. I will take it at this point. We got ourselves another little guy here. <laughs> it came up and whacked the bait as I was just kind of letting it hang next to the boat. So, fun little fish. Another muskie. Not a big one, but uh, we'll get him back in here. And these storms seem to be helping us out a little bit. Let's see if we can't get another muskie here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Northern Wisconsin opener. It was a rough one. After having one of the most spectacular weekends of muskie fishing during that opener for me and Nathan last year, uh, we went to it being muskie fishing all over again. It was It was pretty rough, but at least we got the one decent fish caught a little guy we saw a bunch i didn't include a lot of them in the video because they were just the, the water was so dark it was so hard to see them but they were there were certainly some more fish there and that that big large mouth that got off was pretty cool i do want to take a second to thank jeff schulte from musky bumper for that personalized bump board it looks so cool with the angling anarchy logo on there and he will do it for anybody so you can just contact him i'll put musky bumpers link down below so you can do that the best way if you're going to measure a fish it's better than holding it vertical we don't want to do that it's better than laying it on the carpet a well wetted down bump board if you're going to measure a fish is the best way to do it and in this video you saw that I had to use some tools to cut hooks. Make sure you get those pieces of hooks if you have to cut hooks. And let's take care of these fish the best we can. I also want to thank Musky Zinc for all the work they do. Uh, I know in the video I said I was going to measure that fish to register in the lunge log. If you'd like to register your fish, great. The Musky Bumper is the best way to do it. If you don't, just go out there and catch fish and water release them or whatever you want to do. You're out there musky fishing, do your thing. Let's take care of them the best we can. And uh, how about we just have some fun out there and be cool. How about that? <laughs> That's wishful thinking. But anyway, uh, that is my message for the end of this video. Thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it so much and I'll see you on the next video.